Hey guys, this is John from Stormy Studio and this is a little video to show you the progress I've made on my inventory uh, project so far. Go ahead and preview it. When you click items now you get these cool little pop-up text boxes um, which the text slides into. They animate in and out nice and reliably. Um, there's an invisible one here. Um, I've got it so you can either decide to have a custom text box where you set the location and the size which is done in the self attributes for each item you click or you can turn it off and it will appear as a standard long, um, box along the top. Go into here, inventory has one, even when the item is collected it still animates in nicely, another invisible one there. Um, so yeah, collected the inventory, that's working. Get some items, you found some potion, use the key, you've unlocked the door and in we go. Um, so in here, again, that's just a standard one, so the custom box has been turned off. And then this is a custom one where you've set the size and position. Again, a custom one and a standard one. And you can um, set the rules up quickly to decide if you want to, or if you want to have the lines turning them on or off. So yeah, that all, all working very tidily. Right. Um, quickly show you how quickly you can put together another scene, hopefully. Here we go, so brand new scene, scene four. Um, first of all, we need a backdrop, so let's import some images. Uh, template images. Let's go for some salad, and here we come. Uh, okay, we'll just make a brand new actor out of that quickly. There we go, nice little backdrop. Um, and then we want a collectible inventory. We want the actual working inventory. Position it down here. Um, that's a collectible. Let's make that a uh, make that a tomato. Um, what else do we need? Uh, the text box actor and the line actor, which we can leave off the side. I think that's it. Just double check. Right, hopefully this is all going to work. So let's quickly go to the tables. Let's have a new, add a new, uh, new table. Set the uh, display time. So we want that text to stay on screen for four seconds. Let's call it. It's game salad time. Put down Alt and press Enter. It drops the text down to another line. Um, a little description, just so you know what it is. Tomato scene four. That's purely for your own reference. And then, so that's on row 12 for the text. Let's remember that. And go to collectibles. Let's add another collectible. Row 14, tomato. That's just for own reference, but you could display it in the inventory if you wanted to. Go back to scene 14. Double click our collectible, our tomato. Uh, it's a custom text box, yes. Uh, text message number, is it 12? Let's double check. I think it was 12. Collectible 14. Hopefully that was right. Um, and here you can set whereabouts you want the text box to appear. So let's say 400 across, 300 up, width 200, 100, that's fine. Okay. Now I'm sure I've probably forgotten something, but let's try it and see how it works. Okay. Oh, you found a new inventory. So the location for that was down there. Inventory works. It's game salad time. Collect tomato. The layers are in slightly wrong order, but uh, yeah. We have selectable tomato for you to do with what you will. Um, let's quickly uh, show you something else that I've got working in here. So again, in that scene, preview. The inventory might go off screen on this, but let's try it out. If we go from iPad down to uh, iPhone landscape, um, we'll leave it at letterbox for now. Collect the inventory, and because uh, it knows it's on an iPhone and not on an iPad, and to make it more legible, the text box is always along the top, and it uses a slightly larger font than if it was along the top and on an iPad. So let's uh, see that working on one of the other scenes. So again, iPad landscape down to iPhone landscape, we'll leave it on letterbox. 
Um, and no matter which item you choose, you get the box along the top. And it might be that you don't want a line animating on, but again, that can be set up very quickly with a quick change of a rule. And there we go. Dab hand at this point and click adventure. It's very tricky, but I always manage to solve it. There we go. You found a new inventory with five slots. Go back to iPad landscape and back out. And without even restarting the game, it knows to use a custom box for this one. And that one is set to always be a standard box either way. Cool. Hope you liking how it's turning out um, I'm going to try and think of something else to add to it before I start tackling a game or setting it up as a template. Cheers!